Hi everyone, it's Beth from Sweet Tarts Hair and welcome back to another tutorial with the lovely Bailey Belshaw. Hello. Um, hello. Um, we're going to be doing today a Valentine's style because it's nearly Valentine's Day. Now we can't go anywhere because lockdown, uh, but we can still dress up, we can still do our hair pretty and there's always next year. So we're going to do pink and fluffy and cute, aren't we Bill? Yep. Let's go. So guys, what I've done is I've put Bailey's hair in a little half up pony okay and what you're going to do is you're going to break this pony into two so make sure these two bits are even and then i'm just going to pin this one out of the way now i'm going to use today the Schwarzkopf tame wild cream okay it's a little bit like the wax spray i use but it's a tiny bit softer doesn't leave as much of a residue on the hair, okay? Because I want these strands to be really clean and soft. And I'm actually also, guys, I've decided to just gather this bottom hair into a pony just to make sure it stays out of my way while we're braiding this bit. So this is going to be just an ordinary French braid, but we're only going to take from one side, okay? So I'm going to take a small section of hair and I'm going to start an ordinary French braid, okay? I'm trying to stand out of your way so it's not the easiest angle for me but I'll do my best. So we're going to start a French braid guys, so I'm going to pass this one over the middle, this one over the middle, this one over the middle and now I'm going to take a small section of hair and add it in. Okay, so this braid is going to be one side of our heart. So over the middle, but we don't add anything to that side. Over the middle, add a little section in. So if you imagine you want this braid to kind of come upwards. So can you see that I've kind of picked it up like that? So I'm not braided with my hands down here. Because that's going to help me when I add in the sections. That one's a bit thick going to help me to make sure that I create a really really nice heart shape so over we go over we go adding a little section in so you want to bring this braid up to start with smoothing out those sections crossing over the top and I'm going to, it all depends on how big you want the heart to be. I don't want it to be too big. This baby's only got a little head, haven't you, boo? So I think I've kind of come to as wide as I want to go there. So this is where it just takes a little bit of finesse, okay? So rather than just keep braiding outwards like that, I've almost got to try and sort of start to turn this braid now. So my next section is just going to be a few millimetres shorter than the one before. Not too much, just starting to bring in this shape. So I've kind of swapped sides now guys because it was getting hard to bring it in. So cross it over. Taking a little section, adding it in, and just trying to make it a tiny bit shorter than the one before. So can you see that we've started to make this sort of half a heart shape? So last couple of sections. And then I'm just going to kind of braid down just a little bit and just pop a couple of elastics in. So that is the first half of the heart. So now I'm just going to gently place this hair out of my way. And we're going to work on this section. So again, up to you, but I like the strands to be as clean as you can get them. So wax spray or that tame wild that I showed you. So again, guys little section to start with starting with this inner section cross it over outer section over here cross it over the middle 
cross over and then we're just going to take a small section of hair remember these first few stitches you're almost coming up we're not adding in from the top we're just adding in from the bottom I'll switch my hands so you can maybe see better so fold over fold over little section Smooth it out, in it goes, fold over, fold over. So what I'm trying to do guys, is I'm trying to make sure not only are they kind of equal distance apart, but I'm trying to finish it at the same spot. So I've kind of got to gauge how much hair I've got left there. And then I need to make that hair last me till I'm back in the same spot as the other side. I think that's about even Stevens, what do you think? Okay guys, so I'm going to just attach these two braids together, release these two out. So this is optional guys, but me and Bailey are going to have a bit of fun, it's miserable here, the weather's miserable, there's nowhere to go, why not put pink feather boa in a hair and then we're going to pin it to the head and it's going to be fabulous. So I'm just going to measure up guys, this bit of feather boa and I'm going to cut it and I think I might double up on it. Woof. Looks like someone's killed a pink chicken in this room. <laughs> <laughs> so my um, my idea was going to be to sew this in, just like a quick sort of uh, plastic needle, sew it in. I haven't got any thread. Couldn't be bothered to go to the shop. Oof. So I'm using elastics. So I'm going to tie these together with an elastic this end. I'm going to tie them together at the other end also so I'm just going to be using guys little grips to just hold this feather boa onto the braid so on it goes and then we're doing exactly the same guys on the other side Okay guys, so this is optional. Gonna curl the hair with my new toy. It's the Styler Pro tongs and I absolutely love them. You've seen me use the straighteners and the um, wand. These are the tongs and it's got this kind of like rotation at the top here that stops you having to twist your hands. So let me show you. So I'm literally just gonna clamp down at the top. And then you're just going to turn like this. Can you see that I'm not having to move my hands? Keep turning until all that hair's in. Hold it for just a few seconds and then just release. And because it's titanium, it makes a very dry, very, very smooth curl. So that is our cute little Valentine style finished. I'm going to do a spin so you can see from all angles. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you like the style. Please comment below and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye. Bye.